guys. I hope you guys have had a wonderful week mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe there were some ups and downs, but we're here to cheer you up. Or to educate you as well. Really, yeah. to educate you, most importantly. So today we have another guest from the Nairobi Hospital and Dr. Rebecca Karanja, physician at the hospital, is going to enlighten us all things hepatitis. Yeah, which if you don't mind, we're just going to start from the basic. I know. Okay, imagine um, you're talking to like high school students, maybe even, even lower. High primary school, <laughs> high school <laughs> students. Okay. So bear with yeah. us if we're just asking the absolute basics. But the first question would be, mm -hmm. what is hepatitis? And and I know we've heard of like hepatitis A and B and C, and maybe you can take us through what the different versions are. Okay, hepatitis is actually from the word uh, from the Greek uh, language, mm -hmm. hepa. Then itis is inflammation. Okay, itis hepa. is inflammation. Yeah, oh. itis yeah, is inflammation. So basically, it's wait. Then why do we say like itis, about the itis when like itis full. is inflammation? Basically. Yeah, but you know when people are full mm -hmm. and then mm. you know they want to sleep, they'll be like, oh, I've got the itis. Or people like have full. just they Maybe just made yeah, up their own it's something uh, else. Okay. Urban, <laughs> urban dictionary. Urban <laughs> dictionary. Yeah. So basically, okay. it's an inflammation of the liver, mm -hmm. more ah. like an infection of the liver. Okay. It can be acute or chronic. Some clear, but some continue okay. and become chronic for a long time. Okay. Acute means uh, within six months. If within six months it hasn't cleared, yeah. it has cleared. That's acute. Chronic oh. means after six months, that's uh, chronic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and what are the different versions types, of yeah. Yeah, types? We hear A and B and C. Yeah, there are very many causes of hepatitis. We have the uh, viral infections, mm -hmm. bacterial, can be fungal and parasitic. That's under infection. Wow. Then there's uh, metabolic, where we have drugs, uh, such as some antibiotics, and people may react to them. Then toxins, alcohol. And also, there's also an autoimmune hepatitis, a type of hepatitis where the body, it's like fighting against the liver itself. Wow. Oh. Like rejecting the liver. Yeah, rejecting it because of some antibodies that have been formed. Okay. Mm. But we concentrate more on the viral because that's what is, uh, that's what causes more of hepatitis. About 50% of it is caused by viral hepatitis. Okay. So under viral, we have uh, five types. There's A, B, C, D, and E. I didn't know there was D and E. Yeah, yeah I, I thought didn't it, I, I, was, I was just gonna joke. Is there D and E? Yeah, <laughs> I did, but I've heard A, B, and, and C, C yeah. the most. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the most common. Oh okay. wow! Yeah. And um, why is the liver susceptible? Like, so susceptible. Susceptible. You've got your back, Susan. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, girl. <laughs> um, to these viral infections or metabolic, like what? Why is it the liver? Okay, why well, the liver? It's just because, like, it's just like any other organ in the body, it can get infected, mm -hmm. and this one's basically target the liver. Okay. Like, for example, the alcohol, the viruses. This is a specific virus that now attacks the liver. Mm -hmm. Like, you can have a, a virus that attacks the head, mm -hmm. the okay. lungs. But this one is now the hepatitis, like yeah. A B, that they target the liver specifically. Okay. A yeah, and B. Yeah. And is is A worse than B? And mm -hmm. is B worse than C? Is that is that the gradient? Or so what's the there is A and E. Okay. A and E tend to go together. They are fecal oral. That means if you eat something that is contaminated, oh. some feces, something that oh. food that is contaminated, food or with water, animal with with the stool, stool. Yeah. That's Meaning okay. poo. Yeah, poo. Yeah. Okay, Thanks, poo. Susan. Thank you. <laughs> I got we your all back. Knew that. I got your back. Susan has got, got your, your back. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically okay. that's A and E. Yeah. That tends to be more of acute. It clears. Okay. Mm. A few cases may become uh, chronic where you get uh, it becomes so serious that you get acute liver failure. Whoa. Yeah, that's very you know, in rare cases. Yeah. Then we have B. Uh, B is uh, transmitted by blood. Okay. Contaminated blood sexual contacts mm. and such things and maybe needles people who inject themselves okay. with drugs that with uh, in, uh, needles that are not that are contaminated yeah. by hepatitis mm -hmm. b then we have uh, b can d cannot uh, exist on its own okay it trades on b oh yeah okay. so when you have b and d you can it can make you more sicker if you have more of d d is a bit rare okay. it cannot it cannot exist on its own but when it comes on top of b it becomes a serious infection. Wow. So B can get cleared. Okay. Uh, some people clear it around 95%, but 5% of people progress to become chronic okay. with hepatitis B. Mm. Yeah. Then you have hepatitis C, yeah. which mm -hmm. is uh, more blood um, 
contamination. Okay. Like you get uh, blood that has been infected. Like a long time ago, they never used to test blood. Oh, when they just, were yeah, donating. Yeah, what? Donating. In yeah, Canada. Before, that sounds crazy. Scandal. Yeah. Yes. How do you not test blood? No, that is because you know medicine are not really able. Yeah. No one knew about it. I know. I guess now, now it feels so obvious. Of yeah. course you're going to test the yeah. blood. But I guess, you know, mm. live and learn. So you find like in the States, people who are born between 1945 and 1960 got a lot of hepatitis C. So from true. blood because it never used to be tested but now it's oh, tested okay yeah. yeah so hepatitis c tends to be chronic okay about 30 people are able 30 percent of people are able to clear it but now people progress some people progress not to the chronic form okay chronic form can be they may probably not get very sick no symptoms but some get symptoms mm. and the worst part is that you get uh, cirrhosis that's like scarring fibrosis of the liver okay yeah it's not you know the way the liver is soft and all it becomes i don't know but yeah okay. it becomes hard. no you've seen it the, the, the cow yeah you okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 but i've never <laughs> seen it like raw it's not like i'm like okay guys show you've me not where. seen the run i don't think so and even okay. if i did i didn't touch okay. i'm not like yeah. that yeah. is a soft liver it's mm. soft nice but now when it's soft and nice it's hard it becomes hard oh. and fibro fibrotic okay. yeah and now that proce progresses now to can it can also progress to hepatocellular carcinoma that's liver cancer oh. Oh. and it isn't liver cancer very terrible. difficult to cure it is difficult to cure surely that will probably be uh, gotten much later mm. there are ways you can do uh, chemotherapy ablation where you inject mm. maybe some saline to kill that part of it mm. Mm. or you can do liver transplant okay but not a very good prognosis yeah oh that's boy. the no this the yeah. worry about the hepatitis yeah yeah okay so earlier you mentioned mm. symptoms mm -hmm. so what are the basic mm -hmm. symptoms uh, okay the of hepatitis okay hepatitis may actually be asymptomatic that you don't know especially the viral ones the a the b and d okay and c so you could just be carrying it yeah you can just be a carrier but if you have symptoms you have fatigue you're very mm -hmm. tired you have uh, vomiting okay. diarrhea nausea jaundice your eyes uh, become yellow yeah. Uh, yes. and your urine becomes yellow your stool is a okay. bit like grayish clay sort of stool grayish yeah. clay yeah oh, wow. okay. that's why you know people tend not to start thinking could it be hepatitis uh, and you're yeah. tested for it Okay. Um, w in terms of vaccinations, mm -hmm. doctor, yeah, I as a child, I just remember getting hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. I think I got hepatitis A. But, like I think I had two hepatitis shots. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I have a booklet of all my. Oh, so you don't remember? Sorry, I'm asking because I'm now taking my oh. daughter, who's like a year and mm -hmm. something, okay. yeah. for these shots. Mm. So I'm like, you remember? Well, I, I know <laughs> I have like have a, a book, no, yeah. but in, in my memory, I think wow. I, I was only vaccinated for two types of hepatitis. Mm -hmm. And is there a reason for that? Are there vaccinations for all? Mm. A, B, C, D, E? E. <laughs> <laughs> vaccine so not uh, some hepatitis do not have vaccination oh, no. like a has vaccine mm -hmm. people can be vaccinated mm -hmm. b has a vaccine mm -hmm. and people are getting vaccinated the good thing uh, the young children now they have the, the hepatitis b vaccine when they're very young yeah. as you said about your yeah. daughter they're getting it earlier mm -hmm. so we've seen the chances the cases of hepatitis b have reduced Mm. Um, as compared to our age groups where people we never used to get hepatitis B right. vaccination yeah but now we get it from like if you're a health worker they encourage you to get hepatitis uh -huh. B vaccination but most of the general population you'll find they don't have the vaccine the hepatitis B yeah but the children they're getting that they're getting they get it now. when they're very young okay like your daughter now yeah C does not have a vaccine oh yeah Okay. D and C, and C is, is a serious a one. Yeah, it's a dangerous one. That yeah, thirty percent. Yes, yeah. that's a serious. Yeah. One. Thirty percent to clear. Who clear. But the seventy percent progress. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a serious. Even one. B is bad, but C is also okay. not very okay. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. D doesn't have a vaccine, but once you're protected by B, B. It, you cannot okay. get D because okay. D doesn't exist on its own. It has a vaccine because it's also not. It's a bit mm -hmm. rare also. But it's also the one that you eat contaminated food and oh yes yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. um so mm -hmm. even as an adult now mm -hmm. if we know that for example if i know i have never had the hepatitis b yeah. vaccine can i go to for example nairobi hospital or any other kind of healthcare facility to get a vaccine yes it's never too late you can oh, get wow. it yeah you can get it initially it comes in three doses mm -hmm. you get it now then you get it after a month and mm -hmm. then you get it after six months 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then it will protect you. Once you get it, uh, there's about 95% protection. With That's that pretty vaccine. good. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. 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 So speaking of preventative measures, mm-hmm. and you just touched on the fact that you can get a vaccine, mm-hmm. but are there other things that we could be doing? Maybe mm. lifestyle changes. Don't or drink so much. Or yeah. That's yeah. the one thing. Right? Yeah. Alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol and smoking, I keep hearing. Those things are like the devil. Yeah. But I don't know if that, uh, I guess you'll tell us. Does the that smoking yeah, really doesn't apply. Oh, oh smoking. Okay. I didn't come about any reading, but okay. alcohol actually is. The type of alcohol, uh, hepatitis is related to alcohol. It's called alcoholic hepatitis, hepatitis and uh, it can be severe because now it causes uh, fat cells to accumulate in the liver cells. It's a bit complicated oh, and all yeah, that, and yeah, you have yeah. to stop. But if you stop, the hepatitis kind of clears. The, what we focus more is on the now the auto, autoimmune, the one that your body is fighting. That you can't really do much mm. about it. Drugs you can avoid, whatever you see you're yeah. reacting to. Avoid toxins, yeah. like some mushrooms also can give you those wild mushrooms, oh. and hepatitis and all that. Okay. But most focus is on the viral because that's what is endemic, that can cause um. an outbreak and all that. Yeah, so for hepatitis A, which is uh, fecal, A and E, which is fecal oral, mm-hmm. you do hand hygiene, eat wash food, your yeah, hands, wash more. your hands, okay. eat food from a reliable place, make yeah. sure it's washed and all that. Boil your water. Maybe. Boil your water. Yeah. Be careful. Proper sanitation. Yeah. Mm. So, are there certain age groups that are more prone to getting hepatitis? Maybe children versus adults, or older versus younger. Yeah, young children are susceptible. More Le- susceptible yeah, than adults. Like, mm. Yeah, like for example, in hepatitis B, when they are young, when they get it, hepatitis B below maybe one year, mm. you'll find like a bigger percentage will progress to chronic form. Oh. Yeah, less than one year, it's, they say it's a bit, na- like around 90, they'll progress to hepatitis. Oh, wow. About six wow. years, uh, less than six years, about eight, about 80, 75 percent will progress. Yeah. Older people like us, we might clear. You said, we say, so like uh, 95 percent clears the hepatitis B, so yeah. we might be able to clear. So that's why children are mm. not getting the vaccine. Of course, if you're older, if you're immunosuppressed, if you're pregnant, you might also. <laughs> yeah, you, you get your, your chances of getting sicker are higher. So uh, at what age should children be getting the vaccination for hepatitis B? They get it uh, when they are, they've been born, I think. I don't have the schedule completely, yeah. but the first I year. I probably should be the one yeah. saying, well, actually, the first one starts. <laughs> you don't remember. I have the booklet. Okay, so we'll, we'll check, check later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they do get, but, but the first year they've gotten a lot yeah, of okay. the vaccines. Yeah. Okay. Probably yeah. a lo- almost all of it. Yeah. So the other thing that you can prevent is uh, for the, um, like, Hospitals, they ensure that they do not recycle the injections and all that. Oh, yes. Yeah. But that they do not is there's no recycling that they used to do a long time ago. Yeah. And then um, maybe safe uh, sexual practices mm. using condoms and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And okay. Basically, that's it. Okay. So finally, I just wanted to make sure our audience is clear why, as to why the liver is important to us. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like we, we often hear of these like diseases and things like that, but it's like, oh, it's not the heart. It's not, you know, they think yeah. it's just something negligible, but we all need our liver to function yeah. properly, right? Yeah. And, and why is that? What does the liver actually do for us? Mm. Uh, the liver is actually important. It's one of the organs of the body. It's very large. It clears toxins. Like uh, if you have toxins in the body that are accumulating, it removes them. Okay. It also synthesizes some proteins like albumin. Mm-hmm. And uh, also gives you, like, you see, like uh, drugs, that's why they are metabolized. Oh. You take a drug, a large percentage of drugs are metabolized in the liver. Yeah, I remember yeah. hearing a story of someone who was taking, um, sedvi- like, one of those really heavy acne medicines mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it affected their liver. And I remember thinking, mm-hmm. acne, mm-hmm. liver? How, how is it? Mm-hmm. But because it was so strong, now it's making sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's because that li- your liver is processing mm-hmm. all, all of that. Yeah. So if it's uh, your liver doesn't work uh, properly, you probably end up with a liver failure, and that will the toxins will go to your brain, will go to your mm. kidneys. You'll now have multi-systemic things. You'll start accumulating fluid in your stomach, wow. and you can get fil- fa- uh, it's called fil- fulminant hepatitis, which is a very deadly, rare thing, but mm. you can die from it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So basically, guys, take care of your liver. Yeah. yeah. Slow down on the drinking and the alcohol. Um, Make sure you have all of your vaccinations. Exactly. Are there certain foods that are great for the liver? Uh, okay. The liver itself knows how to clear. Your own oh. body clears itself. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I can't say any specific targeted mm, for the liver. Okay. Okay. Well, mm. it, it seems like your liver has got your back, mm-hmm. so you yes. need to make sure you have your liver's back. 
And if you have any of the symptoms that um, Dr. Rebecca shared, uh, told us earlier, make sure you just go straight to the hospital, the Nairobi hospital. You might even find her yeah, there to help you. Help you. Um, but I think that's it for today. It's yes. a great like basics 101 mm. on hepatitis. Mm -hmm. And your you. liver. And your liver. Love exactly. your liver, guys. <laughs> love your liver. Love your liver. <laughs> hashtag, let's make a trend. Yeah, hashtag love your liver. Let's even do that. Anyway. See you guys next week. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to our channel, guys. And make sure to watch our next video, which we will conveniently leave right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs>